NCMA Manager, uh, it has a, a very extensive CAD system uh, in the background of, of, of the software that allows you to load in a wide variety of different, of different uh, formats for CAD. Um, he, here's the list of it here. Um, you can do Step, IGIS, Unigraphics, uh, Pro-E. Uh, there, there's CATIA as well that's, that's built into this. Um, so th th there's a wide array of different, of different formats that you can use. Um, Right now, I'm just going to load in a demo block here that's, load, that's set up on the machine. So if I click open, um, it's loading in the model. So there's the actual CAD model there loaded in. Um, right now, it just has a basic CAD origin uh, that I need to associate um, with, with uh, on the machine. Uh, just for the sake of, of being quick, I'm going to do a, a simple, very quick alignment onto the, the CAD model here. Um, so I'm going to start out just by doing a plain circle-circle alignment. So now I'm going to be doing a circle. So now I just need one more. So now that I've, I've done that alignment here, I can go ahead and click OK. And now the CAD origin and the, the physical part are lined up. So what I can do is I can actually move into actually doing doing proper measurements on the, based on the CAD model and relate that to the physical part. Uh, so here we have a CAD measure where I can click on do a 3D feature and if I click on the top surface of the CAD model uh, it will generate a plane for me. Uh, so I'm going to do some basic setup here for so I, I, can, I can fill in variables like point interval, uh, the margin, it basically it's going to be going along the edge and generating points um, you can actually see here that there's a, a green line um, with an S where for start and then there's an end point over here. Now what, what this does too is it actually generates a, a measurement path with head angles uh, associated with that. Um, so right now I have six points and I'm just going to go ahead and click verify and I'm going to get it to run through. So it's going to rotate down. It's going to go around and take the hits, and you'll see it's actually rotating the head around to make sure that it won't clip the part. That's all built into CMA Manager. So there's my plane. Um, now I can I can level to that plane and set my Z origin down onto that surface. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to measure that center diameter again. So yep, I'm going to click on the top edge. So now I can I can generate hits for that for that diameter there. Um, I, I can increase to as many as I want. Let's say I want to take eight hits. And you can see the green line once again is, is there. Um, I can adjust the depth as well. And visually you can see it change on the CAD model. So when I click verify again, it will go to the last known location and then it's going to go over and rotate around and start taking hits in that diameter. And this is all point and click based off of the CAD model. So uh, the CAD model is essentially filling in the nominals for us now. Um, so there's, there's that diameter. So now I can, I can set my origin to that diameter. And then I can now go and measure this little hole right here, just as a clocking hole. We'll do four points. Now I can just have it go and do that, and it'll go and take the hits into the into the hole, and then it'll come back out. 
And now I can just do an align and click OK. And now we have the part picked up based on the CAD model, so we can actually start measuring things. Um, it, let's say we wanted to do the, the bolt circle here on the top. I can click on the top surface. Um, it will very lightly, unfortunately, but uh, show yellow around the, the diameters that it picks up. I can select ones that I don't want. Let's say I want to do like every other one. So I can select every other one. I can hit enter. And then there's the measurement routine for that. And I can click go ahead and verify and let it run through. And then it'll go from hole to hole. Basically, that's that's the power of CAD uh, in SEMA Manager. That's that's what it allows you to do. A lot of point and click based off the CAD model with measurements. Um, it, let's say I actually have another great example. This cone here. Um, I can click on to measure a 3D feature, and it says pick a 3D feature from the CAD model. So I can select that, and you'll see it actually generates a measurement routine as well as a clearance move based on the measurement it's coming from and the endpoint of that measurement. Um, I, I can also, based on the CAD model, I can adjust uh, different, the different levels of that cone and visually see how it changes. Uh, so I can click OK. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the point density. There we go. So now it's going to go over and measure that cone. It does it based on the CAD model. You can see there was maybe a little weird hit there. You might want to adjust that a little bit, uh, mostly just because of this, the, the tightness of the bottom of that cone and the diameter of the stylus that's being used. But otherwise, that's that, that's kind of what 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 it allows you to do. Um, and, and it, in the background, it generates all the movements based on the current stylus and tool that you're using, um, and creates clearance moves based on that. So that is basically the CMA Manager with CAD at, in a nutshell.